the mean value theorem for integrals sounds like it's going to be very challenging and terrible and complicated, but it's actually really not. Let's begin by describing the theorem in pictures, and then I'll throw up the actual theorem, and then we'll work an example. Let's say that we had some function that was continuous on the interval a, b. We could then find the average value of that function by essentially averaging all the function values between a and b. And we denote that average function by f bar. And what the mean value theorem tells us is that there must be some c between a and b, so that looks like it's going to be right about here, such that f of c equals f bar. So it just tells us whatever the average value of the function is, it'll be some straight line, there must be some c down here between a and b such that we can evaluate the function at c and get that average value of the function. So that's the idea. Now here's the actual theorem itself, the mean value theorem for integrals. Let f be continuous on the closed interval from a to b. Then there exists some point c in the open interval a to b such that f of c equals the average value of the function. And just to remind us what the average value of the function is, it tells us that the average value is given by 1 over b minus a times the integral from a to b of f of x dx. So as long as you can evaluate that integral and find the average value, the last step is just algebra to find such a point c. In fact, it, this theorem doesn't say anything about finding the c. The theorem itself stops at saying such a point exists. It says nothing about finding the point. But usually when you go to apply this theorem in various exercises, it always asks us to find the point. But note that finding the point is in addition to the theorem itself, which simply tells us that such a point exists. Let's try an example. Okay, this example says to apply the mean value theorem for integrals and find all the points at which f of x equals e to the x equals its average value on 0 to 2. Okay, so let's see if we can apply the mean value theorem for integrals to this. First off, we note that e to the x is continuous because we know all exponential functions are continuous. So it's enough here to just note that it's continuous, but you have to note that it's continuous as part of these exercises. If you don't say something about it being continuous, even if it's obvious, you technically can't apply the theorem. So it's important to just note, yes, it's continuous. Well, e to the x is continuous everywhere, but definitely continuous on this closed interval. In our case, this interval is going to be 0 to 2. So we can check that off. Yes, we've met the criteria for this theorem. Then, here's the conclusion, there exists some point c in a, b, such that f of c equals that integral. So let's evaluate this integral here and find the average value. So we have f bar equals, all right, 1 over b minus a, so 1 over 2 minus 0, times the integral from 0 to 2 of f of x, well that's simply e to the x, dx. All right, so that gives us 1 half times, well the integral of e to the x is simply e to the x, evaluated from 0 to 2. All right, so that's 1 half times e squared minus e to the 0, which is 1. And we can rewrite this as e squared minus 1 all over 2. So now what the mean value theorem tells us is that there exists some c such that when we evaluate the function at that point c, we get e squared minus 1 over 2. So moving on to the next stage of the problem, there is, there, there exists some c in the open interval from 0 to 2. Okay, don't be, don't be too worried about that notation. It's just a short way of saying there is a c in. There is a c in 0 to 2 such that e to the c equals e squared minus 1 over 2. And if you're weirded out by solving for c, sometimes it's like, which one is the variable? I like to just write x here. So there exists some x. Let's change this to there exists some x. 0, 2. So we're solving for x and we're not uh, confused about solving for c. Plus c should usually be reserved for the constant for an integral, so we got too many c's going on here. Okay, there is some x that lives between 0 and 2, such that e to the x equals this. And we just have to solve this for x. Well, we have an x stuck up in the exponent, so what do we do to take get it down? Natural log both sides. That gets the x down and the natural log of e is 1. This gives us x equals natural log of e squared minus 1 over 2. And there's nothing else we can do. We can't simplify that, so that is indeed our answer. 